What if I told you about a tool that will make you $40,000 a year in tax-free passive income and double your profits within four years? If it sounds too good to be true, I assure you it's not. First, I will break down how you can achieve this and in the end, I'll cover how to double it. Hey, what's up? It's Darren Burrows here. My mission is to help a thousand people create a million dollars of net worth with real estate investing. Subscribe not to miss what's coming. Last year I did a video on how to use the TFSA Maximizer to create $53,000 in passive income using your tax-free savings account. I laid out a plan where you can earn $53,000 a year in free passive income and earn a 20% return on your money every year. Well, the comments section was on fire. How do you find someone crazy enough to accept a 20% interest rate when they can get 1.8% at the bank? Anyone who thinks this strategy would actually work in the real world has never made a penny in investments. Or my personal favorite, 20%? Really? Who's watching this clown? To which I would respond with, well, about 25,000 people did last month. What these people missed was the fact that I was using a blended rate of 12%. 4% being paid to your RSP and 20% being paid to your TFSA. Watch the whole video, folks, before you call me a clown again. I admit the TFSA Maximizer is a niche idea that will not work for everybody, but there is a similar approach using some interest rates that are simpler to understand and more readily available to all of us. Are you excited? For those of you not familiar with how the TFSA works, let me break it down for you quickly. The tax-free savings savings account does just what it says, saves you money with no tax. But there's one big misleading part. The tool is not just used for savings, it's also used for investments. So I don't know why they put savings in the name. A tax-free savings account can be used to invest in mutual funds, the stock market, and real estate. There are many ways we can use the TFSA within real estate. And if you want to know more about that, check out this video here where I break down the different options available within the real estate investing world after you've finished this video. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to use the same strategy I laid out in the original video, which is using the TFSA in a self-directed position. Once it's in a self-directed position, we're gonna lend these funds out just like the bank does, but we're going to charge a very different interest rate than what the bank does. We're going to target a 12% annualized return. We can do this by lending out funds privately to other investors who generally use this money on a short-term basis. These mortgages, secured by property can be in first, second, or in some cases, third position. Now, before you go commenting like, if you don't wanna hold a second and third mortgage on a fixer upper property owned by property flippers, don't watch this video. Or, this is a completely misleading video. Second and third mortgages are a risky investment strategy for the average investor. Or my personal favorite, WTF do mortgages have to do with this? Okay, Karen, chill. Let me just say that not all second and third mortgages are risky. It all depends on your loan to value, the location and the type of asset you're lending on and the strength of the borrower. It's important you understand all of these elements. So if you're new to private lending, I suggest working with an experienced broker or a lawyer who can walk you through the process. So we've established that you're going to be using the TFSA to lend out your funds and we're going to be targeting a 12% annual return. What's next? Well, now we need to decide how much money we're going to lend. Currently, the contribution limit set by the Government of Canada is $75,500 for individuals in 2021. I'm going to suggest as a first action, you should max out your TFSA say before putting funds into a savings account or into an RSP because of the added benefits of being able to earn returns tax-free. Let's assume we have the maximum available and we were able to lend those funds out at 12%. What does that look like? Before we break that down, let me give you a reminder about the rule of 72. The rule of 72 is a quick, useful formula that is popularly used to estimate the number of years required to double the invested money at a given annual rate of return. So if I take 72 and I divide it by 4%, we know it will take 8 18 years to double your money. If I take 72 and I divide it by 12%, it takes six years to double your money. But hold on. At the top of this video, I said we could do this in four years and here's how. This is where some discipline is required, but if you wanna be a successful investor, you're going to need discipline. The way we can reduce that number down to four years is by contributing to our TFSA every year and allowing the money earned inside of your TFSA to compound. Let me show you what that looks like. If we take our $75,500 and we lend that out at 12%, we'd make $9,060 in interest in that year. So that would give us a total of $84,560. If we then contributed the $6,000 that we're allowed to contribute every single year, that would bring us up to $90,560. 
If we then take the $90,560, we lend that out at 12%, we're gonna make $10,867.20 in interest, which gives us a total of $101,427.20. We then contribute that $6,000 again that we're allowed to input into our TFSA. So our total now is $107,427.20. We take the 107,427.20, we lend that out at 12%, we're gonna make $12,891.26 in interest for a total of $120,318.46. We're gonna add $6,000, which is the contribution limit to our TFSA. And our total now is $126,318.46. We're gonna take the 126,318.46, we're gonna lend that out at 12%. We're gonna make $15,158.22 in interest. We're gonna add that together and that gives us 141,476.68. We contribute that $6,000 again into that TFSA account and we are now at $147,000. $476.68. We started with roughly $75,000 and we're almost up to $150,000. After only four years, we've doubled the money inside of our TFSA account. $6,000 might sound like a lot of money to contribute every year, but I like to break down contributions on a monthly and then weekly basis. That's $500 a month or $125 a week. That's not that hard. After all, you could get a side hustle, Karen. No, calling people clowns in YouTube comments doesn't count. Next, allow your money to compound at 12% inside of your TFSA for a period of 10 years. At the end of the 10 years, you'll have $339,783.95 in your TFSA account and you can stop contributing to your account at that point. If you continue to lend out those funds at 12% interest, you can earn $40,774 a year in tax-free passive income. Earning $40,000 per year in tax-free money is the equivalent of earning $58,000 in pre-tax money. In other words, this is the same as earning about $5,000 a month every month in passive income. Not bad for putting away $500 a month for 10 years. Now, there is one way to double your contribution limit within your TFSA and that is super simple. Get married. If you have a spouse, your household contribution limit doubles, allowing you to contribute up to $151,000 into your TFSA account and currently $12,000 additionally per year. While I believe wholeheartedly in my skills as a real estate investor, I'm not sure I would take relationship advice from me as I've never been married. Feel free to comment below as to why you think that might be. If you're interested in learning more about how you can use your TFSA and other registered accounts such as your RRSPs, check out my free masterclass webinar where I go into more detail on these strategies. Feel free to leave your real estate investing questions in the comments section below and check back here every Tuesday as I release a new video every week. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, where I share other real estate investing tips and tricks. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.